Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, I sound a little bit different because that's what this tutorial is about. Let's do some sick makeup. So I've been sick the last couple of days. I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better and yesterday was the very first day where I put on some makeup so I didn't feel like a raisin. Now, my hair is greasy and my nose is all raw and dry and disgusting. Yeah, that's just what I'm working with right now. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the makeup that I like to use when I'm sick because even though we are sick, I mean, come on, we still wanna look a little bit put together. Just mentally makes us feel better too. So first thing is I don't wanna wash my hair today. What I like to do is I like to stick my greasy hair up into a bun today. Bun day. You can always add some dry shampoo, obviously, to make it smell fresh and be a little bit more fresh, but I'm just gonna stick this baby up in a bun. Flip, twist, wrap. Okay, so now that I have my hair in a bun, I feel so much better. So much better, so much better, so much better because my hair is out of the way, it's slicked back, you can add some hairspray, make it seem like you did like an actual updo. Now let's get into the tutorial and if I'm not like 100%, what? It's because, you know, I'm actually sick. First thing is skin. So obviously my skin is very dry, dehydrated. I already washed my face, I already did some eye cream underneath my eyes, and I already did a light moisturizer like your typical every day. So whenever I'm going to do any makeup, I'm going for more luminous products even though I am oily. So the first thing I like to do is use a Max Fix Plus or some sort of spray like a rose water spray or any type of facial spray. So I'm going to be using the Max Max Fix Plus. If it looks different, it's because it was that limited edition, uh, a limited edition, limited edition. This one is in the Yuzu one. So I'm just gonna spray this all over and just let my skin soak in that goodness. I also just want to just take some and just spray it on my fingertips and pat the end of my nose just because. Ooh, it needs moisture. Next up is moisturize your lips. Your lips are probably looking a little dehydrated and a little bit chippity chap chap. I'm gonna be using something a little bit more extreme and extra. This is the Bite Agave lip mask. I just like to use lip masks just because they're really thick and heavy and I want more moisture back to my lips. You can use any lip balm or anything that you feel comfortable with. I just wanna use this one because I just know that this is really going to quench my lips. And when you're sick, you wanna make sure you always drink lots of fluids. Ah. That actually reminded me of Bunny right now and she's like, ah. Do you guys watch her? I love her. I like to prep my skin just to give it some more love. And I'm gonna use more of a radiant primer because let's get real, I got a lot of crusties. I've been blowing my nose with boogers galore. I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the natural radiance primer. I am oily, but like I said, I have crusties all over. So if you're going to use something that's mattifying, whoo, everybody's going to see every nook and cranny and boogie all over your face. You don't want anything to cling to anything that's dry. Man, already my skin is just like, thank you, Lizzie, thank you. Next, I'm gonna add some brows. You can just maybe just lightly fill in your brows with some powder, or if you really want some really bold brows, you can go ahead. This is up to your taste. Use my Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I actually haven't used my pomades in such a long time. I just started using this one all over again, and I have been enjoying it. Uh, I do prefer pencils. So, you know, I'm just trying to give a little bit of love back to this product. I'm not doing like a full on tutorial for my brows because I've done um, quite a bit on my channel, but if you'd want like an updated brow routine, I can always do that. Honestly, I'd probably have to do an updated brow routine five different ways. I don't know, maybe three, but I feel like I'm always doing them a little bit different. So I might just add in all those different ways because I don't know. I like to give my brows multiple personalities. Brush that product through, kind of bring it through the front. That is all I'm really gonna do. Just give myself a little bit more definition. I didn't go so jack-o'-lantern today. And of course, do the other side. If you don't want to, that's up to you. Maybe you'll start a new trend, who knows? Hey, I'm feeling better, I'm cracking jokes. This is good. Now this part's all up to you, but I'm going to carve out the bottom of my brow. It just makes me feel more put together. So do your brows the way that it makes you feel happy. 1.5 concealer from Anastasia and just a concealer brush. And I'm going to start carving out my brows in the bottom just to make them look a little bit more defined. There, now it's nice and crisp. 
personally, I like doing this step just because it helps already highlight your brow bone and it's already lifting up your brows like, hey, I'm not sick. Tissue break. Now I really want to brighten up my eyes. Essence I Love Stage Primer. I love this one because this is a skin tone one. I always talk about it. And I like to place this on my lids because it helps to cancel out any other pigmentation because I do get questions on my eyelids. They're like, oh, do you have more pigmented eyelids or what eyeshadow is that? It's not an eyeshadow, it's just my skin color. I'm just a little bit more pigmented on my lids. So I'm going to use this just to help balance out my entire lid color. And then it's just also going to just brighten up my eye at the same exact time. Plus what's great is that this formula is not drying at all. It's just like that perfect medium. So already my eyes are looking a little bit better. Now with that, I like to just put a kind of cream color all over just to set that in place as well. I'm just gonna use my shade in light eye. You can use anything. Honestly, I'm using a lot of products that I haven't been giving too much love to. Boom, boom. So I'm just going to take this brush and this is usually the one where I place my under eye highlight with and I've just been using this to just dust all over my eyes. I'm just going to take this cream color right here, tap it off and I just sweep it over and I just do a light dusting and that's it. I don't want a, a brush that's too dense because then it's going to concentrate the color too much where it's just gonna look stark white. And that's why I love using this type of brush lately. And another reason why I love it is that I don't have to use an extra eye brush. So that means one less brush to clean at the end of the week. So next I don't want my eye just like plain stark white all across. So I wanna give it a little bit more definition and more warmth to warmth to the eye, warm, warmth. Brown right here, I'm going to use a more fluffy brush into the crease and softly buff this in. Another thing is, is when you choose something like a brown, be careful like with this shade, you don't wanna do too much. I'm not going to be doing eyeliner or anything like that, but since your eyes are probably a little bit red or water, you could stick some eye drops in them though, obviously, but say that they are, you don't want anything that has too much red in it because you don't want the redness in your eyes or anything like that to come out as well so just choose like a just a warm brown is fine you're supposed to enhance your face not bring out what's really happening next up I'm going to curl my lashes and when I mean curl I'm going to pump the crap out of them I want my lashes to look plump and long and big because if you're someone that doesn't want to work fake lashes, then you definitely want to make sure you do this. And then my favorite mascara lately is the Falsies Push Up Drama. It gives me like a lot of va va voom and this is really going to help open up my eye. So now we're going to go on to face. Now obviously we don't want to use a foundation, but if you do, that's fine. But I don't like to use the foundation for a couple reasons. One is because it's very heavy on the skin. I want my skin to breathe. I want it to look a little bit more healthy and glowy just because I feel like it's so dull right now. And number two is let's get with it. When we start blowing our nose, when you have foundation and you blow your nose, half of your foundation is going to end up on your tissue. Now that's not very cute, but what I will say, which is not as bad, is when you blow your nose with a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, it's not going to be as obvious that your foundation is going to be missing from your nose area. So that's why I like to use that, just because it's a little bit more natural looking in coverage, so when you blow your nose and maybe some product may escape off your nose, it's not gonna be as obvious and, I don't know, just look as weird and what's awesome is when you do lose some of that color and say that you are out and about it's very easy to replace that light coverage that you lost with some powder trust me when I blow my nose and I go to town I just powder back up and it looks like nothing ever disappeared today I'm going to be using a tinted moisturizer and this is the honest beauty Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20, which is awesome. This is in the shade Honestly Honey. I'm going to be doing a full review on this because this stuff really needs a review. Beauty Blender, I am not going to, oh, I was too lazy to go get up and wet it, but I'm just gonna add some Max Fix Plus, which is actually gonna add a little bit more luminosity to your skin if you are super dull. So I'm kind of glad I was lazy right now. Tinted Moisturizer straight to the Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to start blending. I'm gonna place this all over my face and I really love this tint of moisturizer. Can't wait to do a review on it. Long story short, it's really great, especially if you have normal to oily skin. 
and I feel like it gives really nice coverage as well. It's not like over the top because it is a tinted moisturizer, but it is much more coverage than your typical tinted moisturizer. This isn't going to cling on to any of those dry patches like foundation would because if I put foundation, foundation, foundation around my nose, it's, oh my gosh, it's going to look like nooks and crannies underneath my nose. So for concealer, again, I wanna use something that's really nice and light for my skin, but still gives me enough brightness and coverage. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I'm going to be using the shade Medium and Sand. Sand's just going to bump it up a little bit and it's going to give a little bit more brightness. So I'm gonna bring medium just right here. And then I'm going to place just sand just right underneath. And I'm just going to just do, a, you know, just a, a little bit of it just to help brighten right underneath there. This step right here with concealer, use something really nice and light, but just using a concealer period to help brighten underneath, no matter what, is just going to, Look, it's life changing. Set my under eye, just set it with your favorite powder, RCMA, if you wanna know about this product, I'll link a video down below all about it in comparison to the Ben Nye Colorless Translucent. Just going to do a light dusting of that, but this one I'm just going to bring underneath my eyes because I do wanna bring a little bit more color to my face. Age Studio Pro powders, I do a mixture of 230 and 235 right now, and I'm going to use these just to bring a little bit more color to my face. And this is going to set the other outer perimeter of my face, not underneath my eyes. Now, I'm just gonna do a mixture of these two, and like I said, it's just gonna bring a little bit more color and life to my face. I'm not bringing this near uh, my under eye area because I want to keep that really nice and bright and then this is gonna make it seem like I've actually been outside You know living and breathing air a little bit more um, just a little bit I just want to add a little bit of Highlight to my inner corner to give me that pop because a lot of you know if you watch beauty tutorials You add in highlighter to the inner corner just to make your eyes just pop and look more awake And that's definitely what we want to do next that I'm actually going to use it adds a little bit more sparkle and this one's in the color nude the right in the inner corner see and it's already giving me that really nice sparkle and I'm gonna bring that a little bit to the lower lash line and just diffuse it in that inner corner. Now, this is the time where you can start adding mascara to the bottom lashes. So going back to the face, now you can add a little bit more bronziness if you want to. I'm not necessarily contouring, but I'm going to be hitting all my natural contour spots. So this is the Contour Cool Medium Complicated. Now this is from Makeup Geek. Now I love this brush, I always talk about it. It's one of my favorites. This is the Powder Blur powder slash blush brush in F10. Now I'm just going to hit all the areas, you know, where I would naturally contour, but I'm just basically warming up the face a little bit more just because I want to add more, woo! I don't know what that meant, but that's what I'm trying to add. Now for blush, I'm going to be using Max Warm Soul. I love this blush. It's an awesome one. It's really a go-to. If you're ever wondering which MAC blush do you think you're gonna get a lot of use out of, it's going to be Max Warm Soul. Now this color is more on the peachy pink side. It has like reflex of gold, but it's not too sparkly. It just gives you like that beautiful flush. I'm using this Real Techniques brush. Techniques. Now I'm not going to be adding any highlight because for me, I've already added enough. I put some radiant primer. I've already added some sparkle in the inner corner. I've already moisturized my eyes. So with this, this already, I've moisturized my eyes. <laughs> what? What I was trying to say is I've already added a lot of other luminous factors into this makeup routine. So unfortunately, I'm going to be skipping highlight, but that doesn't mean I'm really skipping it because look, but that highlight though, my skin looks really fresh and glowy and this already has some really nice sparkle in it. So my cheeks are already gonna have that really nice flush of color and also glow to my cheeks. So now let's move on to lips. Now I'm definitely not going to be using a liquid lipstick because that is already gonna make your lips even more dry than what they already are. So I'm gonna use something more on the glossy balmy side. I'm gonna use my Maybelline palette. I really enjoy this one. A lot of people didn't like this one. I did a full review on these Maybelline products and I actually really love this palette. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to pick more like a pinky kind of color just to bring again more color to my face. I'm just gonna use a mixture of these because I want something that's a little bit more glossy and hydrating at that, and I don't find that these are very drying on my lips. 
So it just works out perfectly. And that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely look much more awake, alive, glowy, and fresh. This is actually something that you can really use also, say at the beach, because I know some of you don't wanna wear makeup to the beach. I know, I know. But some of us that do, you can definitely wear this look because it's very radiant and it brings color and it's very light and easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you like to do when you do your makeup or any kinds of tips and tricks when you're sick I would love to know and it help other people down below as well again watch I'm going to blow my nose right now because I definitely have to and you're gonna see how it's not gonna take away all my color because then after I just touch up when I'm wiping my nose I do have like a little bit of product on my tissue on my tissue yes my nose is going to be red but what's awesome is since I didn't use a foundation all I do is just take your powder take a powder with you Dab it right on there. There, and you're good. Your redness will eventually go away. You just let, gotta let that subside, and then boom, doesn't even look like you lost any product. And that's why I like to use a tint of moisturizer BB cream. All right guys, well that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up so that I can feel better. And I hope that all of you guys did get some tips and tricks from this tutorial. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it is free. 99 like literally free. There's no 99 cents. Okay. All right Well, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. Boop, boop.